Hi Kyle, thank you so much for joining me on this cold and rainy Saturday. Um, this is obviously a really good opportunity for the members to get to know you um, and just have a bit of a chat and see how you're going. Um, obviously you were recently appointed as an assistant supervisor, which is really exciting. So on behalf of myself, um, I would just like to congratulate you because I'm really excited to work with you and I know that you're going to do some great things. So hopefully when basketball goes back, um, you can actually put your supervising skills into action. Um, first of all, what have you been up to with no basketball? No, just mostly schoolwork, doing year 12 at the moment. So um, lots of time spent studying, but other than that, not a whole lot. Just and obviously you like celebrated your 18th birthday as well in isolation. Yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> how, how did you celebrate? Um, I had the neighbours come down. We're all really close as neighbours, so they came down, had a bit of cake with them, and um, had a video chat with my uh, family. Oh, uh, awesome. Sounds good. Um, first question for you. Uh, why did you become a referee? Um, I became a referee. So I used to assist and coach with Dan McGrath, who was a referee. Um, and I just got interested through him. He was telling me stories about his refereeing and I thought that would be a really good idea. Bit of money, something to progress through and um, yeah, a bit of a good hobby. Yeah, awesome. How long have you been refereeing for now? How long have you been at Knox? I've been here since 2016, so I think it's my fourth year. Yeah, awesome. So, yeah. Cool. Um, next one for you. Tell us a little bit about your journey to becoming a leader. Obviously, you were just appointed, as I said before, as a um, assistant supervisor. So tell us a little bit about your journey and how you got there. So as I said, I started in, uh, I think it was July of 2016, um, and just progressed as much as I could from there. My aim straight away was to progress as much as I could um, quite quickly. And I got my B grade, I think it was about six months, which I was lucky enough to go to the referee camp that year. And Anthony said, um, I think everyone here has led enough so that you can get your B grades. So I was quite lucky with that. Um, I managed to do a game with Chris Reed. Um, I think it was a 14 girls A grade game, which was awesome. An experience that not many people have had. So that was amazing. And then from there, I just thought it's going to be awesome if I just keep progressing through this. So I got my A grade last year, and this year I'm currently doing our panel. Awesome. And was that a competition that you won to ref with Chris Reed, or you had to submit an application sort of thing? Yeah, it was. I can't remember exactly what it was, but there was something about um, why you want to ref with him and what it will do for your refereeing. Um, and yeah, it was me and Jermaine Schmidt who ended up on it. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Fabulous. Um, now, obviously, you have only just been appointed as a, an assistant supervisor, but what has been the biggest challenge so far uh, supervising, or what do you think will be the biggest challenge? Uh, the biggest challenge, well, I really want to be able to get around to everyone in the session and be able to give them feedback, um, which I dare say that will be the biggest challenge because there's so many referees on the session and you've got to um, control other things as well. Um, so that's my aim, but it's also going to be the biggest challenge in there, so. Yep, awesome. Um, what is it that you want to achieve going forward either as a referee or supervisor? So what are your, your goals? So as a ref, I would love to get on to uh, NBL 1 eventually. Um, short term, big V next year hopefully, depending on how the rest of the year goes, considering Corona, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, and as a supervisor, just want to stay on the uh, supervisor's uh, branch for as long as I can and hopefully get a, um, a weeknight session as a rosterer um, as soon as possible. Yeah, fabulous. Um, what advice do you have for referees who do want to become a supervisor eventually? Put your name down as soon as you can. If, um, if you're interested in it, put your name down straight away and uh, the sooner that you put your name down, then everyone knows, hey, they're interested, keep an eye on them, we'll see what we can do. Um, if you don't get it the first time, not a big deal. The other supervisors already know that you're interested and uh, chances are the next time you will get it. Yeah, awesome. Now my last one for you, uh, what message do you have to the members during this time without basketball? Um, I'll just say stay positive. There's obviously a lot in the world going on and a lot of people are struggling. But just find the positives. 
Um, there's not going to be like this forever. Um, just embrace what you do have and, yeah. Fabulous. Thank you so much again, Kyle, for taking the time today to have a chat. Um, as I said, I am really excited to work with you and to see you in action as a supervisor, and hopefully it is sooner rather than later. Yeah, true that. Thank you, Megan. Thanks, Kyle.